And welcome to On Air. It is the last edition of X coming to you live from all We finally made it. On C, I said live. I just messed that up. Come on, man. No, we had to pre record this one because Ben is gone all week and I'm he didn't want to miss the Will last Moore. one as we look at X. I don't want to. We, yeah, we have Act done this for yes, nine uh, weeks. I want to be here for this. No, it almost been, ten? It's been a while. Yeah. We've been doing while. this for a minute. I'm looking forward to sleeping <laughs> in again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to not have to unthaw my car over the last two weeks. No kidding. <laughs> hey, but this is Summer has been is fun. easier. No, it has been really good. Has been really fun. Yeah, I have I have enjoyed this and hope that you have as well. Uh, but we were thinking, you know, as we're wrapping this up today, whether we do something like this again or not, uh, you know, just thinking about where yeah. where I enjoy studying the most, what book of the Bible I'm yep. enjoying the most. I, I don't know, Mike, what... What books of the Bible are yeah. are classics and favorites yeah. for you? So we're asking each other what favorite, what our favorite books are. What is your favorite book of the Bible? We would as love well? to know. We'd, and we even may, maybe may what's the next suggestions? Maybe what's your next book you'd like to maybe see us study? Um, what's my favorite book? I would say honestly, Luke and Acts mm -hmm. have always been a favorite of mine because I did Bible study quizzing on them mm -hmm. when I was a. Uh, I was eighth freshman year of high school and so those books have always been um special to me mm -hmm. i would say if i picked an old testament book it's micah because of my name mm -hmm. and because of uh, my theme my life for life verses in there micah 6 8 so that that book slash you know verse is important to me so that i Makes like sense. reading out of there so. they don't have the book of benjamin so i i can't play that no word. you yeah you sorry but the Benjamin <laughs> that I am named after is in Genesis, which I am a big fan of. Yeah, so it's, it is. That's I, a good one. I, I don't know why, but there's something about just the stories of Genesis and uh -huh. maybe just seeing the broken and flawed people that God used and right. and started all of this oh, with. Yeah. You know, and right. I, I think I there's just something special and something cool in that. So I, such a wide range of stories. Yes. 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 Yeah. There's something I identify with. And yeah. I so, will, at I mean, times I almost wish the whole Bible is made up of those kind of stories. Yeah. You know, kind of, yeah. you know. But we've got different sections. But, we got yeah. the prophets. We got all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I mean, but, there's lots of stories so, just written really summarized and yeah. easy to remember. In Genesis, Genesis is good. I think the book that I have the most fun with, though, maybe not practical application as much, but the book I have the most fun with is Judges. There's oh. just some wild stuff in there. Yeah, I can uh, see that. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's, yeah. I don't know that that will be the one that we do next. Though. Yeah, that's good. So feel free to comment what your favorite Bible book is, or maybe even what book you'd like to see us do again next time if we start something like this again in January. And I know I'm looking out towards then sometime. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, we'll have to see how that looks. Yes, and indeed. What look like. So get your Bibles open, Acts chapter 28. I'm going to pray, and then we'll get started reading. Let's bring okay. it home. God, I thank you for another chance to read your word. And God, as we wrap up Acts 28 here, God, may your spirit continue to fill us, whether we're, um, whoever's watching with us today or even after this video is posted, that they'll be able to get something out of these verses and, and what you want them to hear today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, Acts chapter 28, let's dive in. After we were brought safely through, we then learned that the island was called Malta. The native people showed us unusual kindness, for they kindled a fire and welcomed us all, because it had begun to rain and was cold. When Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and put them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. When the native people saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer. Though he has escaped from the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. He, however, shook off the creature and, and into the fire and suffered no harm. They were waiting for him to swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But when they'd waited a long time and saw no misfortune come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Is that where that, that song Shake It Off comes from? Shake it off, mm. shake it off. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah I think Taylor Swift probably yeah. went back to school. I think so. I yeah. think she did. <laughs> Now in the neighborhood of that place were lands belonging to the chief man of the island named Publius, who received us and entertained us hospitably for three days. It happened that the father of Publius lay sick with fever and dysentery, and Paul visited him and prayed, and putting his hands on him, healed him. 
And when this had taken place, the rest of the people on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. They also honored us greatly, and when we were about to set sail, they put on board whatever we needed. Okay, it was three months after the shipwreck that we set sail on another ship that had wintered at the island. Nice for them, isn't it? An Alexandrian ship with the twin gods at his figurehead. Our first stop was Syracuse, where we stayed three days. From there, we sailed across to Rhegium. A day later, a south wind began blowing, to the, so the following day, we sailed up the coast to Puteoli. There we found some believers who invited us to spend a week with them, and so we came to Rome. The brothers and sisters in Rome had heard we were coming, and they came to meet us at the Forum on the Appian Way. Others joined us at the Three Taverns. When Paul saw them, he was encouraged and thanked God. When he arrived in Rome, Paul was permitted to have his own private lodging, though he was guarded by a soldier. After three days, he called together the local leaders of the Jews, and when they had gathered, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or to the customs of our fathers, Yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to, uh, to set me at liberty because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But because the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to, uh, to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have come to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am wearing this chain." And they said to him, We have received no letters from Judea about you, and none of the brothers coming here has, has reported or spoken any evil about you. But we desire to hear from you what your views are, for with regard to this sect we know that everywhere it is spoken against. So, a time was set, and on that day a large number of people came to Paul's lodging. He explained and testified about the kingdom of God and tried to persuade them about Jesus from the scriptures. Using the law of Moses and the books of the prophets, he spoke to them from morning until evening. Some were persuaded by the things he said, but others did not believe. And after they had argued back and forth among themselves, they left with this final word from Paul. The Holy Spirit was right when he said to you, your ancestors through Isaiah the prophet, go and say to this people, when you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you see what I do, you will not comprehend. For the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes. So their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me and let me heal them. So I want you to know that this salvation from God has also been offered to the Gentiles, and they will accept it. For the next two years, Paul lived in Rome at his own expense. He welcomed all who visited him, boldly proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ, and no one tried to stop him. Where's Caesar? He never made it to Caesar. What? So, no, what, that's... What, 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 where's Caesar? Well, what? so, here's, here's the thing, and I, I'm so glad that I, I preemptively uh, read yes. read some commentary. I'm glad this. you did, because yeah. I just ended up going... Yeah. We got to the end of the book. He's not a Caesar. Yeah. So what? when you appeal to Caesar uh, or in general have charges brought against you in, in the, the Roman era, um, if if those charges aren't followed up on within a two year time frame, the charges are dropped. So, so, no, so no one sent letters and no one said right. anything. Nobody from Jerusalem came, came to, press to, charges. to press charges. And so and so. That's uh, why this book really kind of ends on a high note. And I'm, that's a I'm high all, note? That seems kind of low. I disagree. He, okay. He ends for, he is there for two years. He gets to preach the gospel in Rome, spread spread the gospel not only to the Jews, but to the Gentiles there okay. as well, effectively making okay. Rome the center of Christendom in the, the years that okay. followed. Okay. And then, really, we're left with Paul still alive. Yeah. Now, and spreading we, the gospel to the ends right. of the earth. Right, and now we we know that eventually yeah. Nero uh, really ups the persecution, uh, and tradition would would tell us that Paul was eventually uh, re imprisoned and eventually beheaded uh, as a, a martyr of the faith. But Luke doesn't want to end with that. Luke right. doesn't want to end with and then Paul died. That would instead be he ends with Paul got off because nobody yes. is actually pressing any real charges against him. Huh. And so, again... It took him about a year to get there. Right. Exactly. It took him long <laughs> enough to get there. He was there for two years before they finally dropped the charges. Yes. But eventually, he's able to get out and go yeah. and make Christianity... Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you read that, because I was even thinking, how is he living there at his own expense? He's no longer mm -hmm. in prison, or he's... 
he's living there privately and because yeah. yeah no one has come to right. press charges or doing those things i'm sure if people were pressing charges they'd be like get in jail right for sure kind of thing but they're like oh no one's really coming here was kind of watch you so he yeah. just ended up in Rome and eventually got to do ultimately what God in chapters, what was it, 22, 23, 24 yeah, in the there started, yeah, spread. he started telling Paul, hey, you're going to go to Rome. You're going to, you're going to start to spread the gospel there. Wow. And man, sure enough, he got the opportunity to. Wow. So that's how it ends, man. I wish we had ended the whole time with that. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that's a good way to at least start yes. the time there. I mean, this whole chapter had interesting things there. Where once again, Paul's called to God because he survived a snake attack, mm -hmm. snake bite, yep. which that's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's impressive. Stuff. I mean, and probably why sometimes people like to play with, never mind, um, <laughs> and think that people do you're, not you're play in, with like, snakes because of Paul. Come on, man. <laughs> because they think, hey, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you won't get bit. No. No. Um, you, you know they're thinking that. Well, maybe some people. Okay, but, now uh, someone's going to comment now on this. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, that, but, that one's on you. But we, <laughs> I had no part in that one. <laughs> but it's kind of, it's neat the way he, I don't know, he was just doing what he needed to do. God mm -hmm. protect him in, in that moment. He protected him from the ship. He's like, I'm not going to let him, you know, yeah. get, but the people are thinking. Uh -huh. uh, he's led, He's lasted this long. He's gone now. Yeah. I mean, that must have been a, they knew this was a bad snake. Yeah. They knew it was a bad snake. Yep. They're like, um, yeah, he's done. So, but he didn't die. And then he goes on to not just heal one more person. But everybody on everybody the island. Everybody on the island. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? I'm just imagining hundreds of people. I, 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 no know, I know it's probably how, not tons. Well, I have no but, concept how big Malta was. Like, are yeah. we talking Delphi size? Are we talking it had to be, Indianapolis? Like, like I don't know what we're dealing with. Delphi. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're talking hundreds of people. I yeah, mean, but still, no matter how you spin it, yeah, he is. All these people were healed, and God had a purpose for being on that little yep. island. Absolutely. And that, that, that is pretty cool. A divine um, shipwreck. That, that's just kind of, yeah, this divine shipwreck where everyone's saved. Another mm -hmm. ship actually ends up there, but it probably didn't need to because they shouldn't have been there either. Right. Nothing that they could end, keep going. Yeah. Um, so you can keep going on strips. I thought they are just going to be stranded there forever. I mean, that would also be a fun way to end the book. Yeah, and then be. Paul died on Malta after 30 years <laughs> of ministry. <laughs> but then it goes on to say, hey, he arrives at Rome. And then, then we get to the other stuff that we were just talking about. Yeah. Where he's permitted to have his own lodging and then talk to everyone. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's it's neat that he was given the opportunity to preach to the, the Jews there. So, you know, toward the end of the chapter, starting in verse 17, he's able to, to go and, and to discuss with the Jews everything that's happened. Uh -huh. But again, we see this continued theme through the entire book of Acts. And I, I think this is just the beauty of what God did through the early church. He went to the Jews, and the Jews uh -huh. were God's chosen people, right? right? He always and, went to the Jews first. Yeah, and so Paul always started with the Jews, mm -hmm. and it always didn't work. It, <laughs> Well, he said some. Some, yes. Some. He, 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 he always got a few. I think he got more but, yes. from the Gentiles. Yeah, that's exactly it. I think he, he saw he more. He always started with the Jews, yeah. and he always saw some success there. Like, it, it mm -hmm. never says, and all of the Jews immediately tried to kill him. Yeah. But, you know, there's there, some that there was a, a dissension. Good but then he goes to the Gentiles and starts to tell them, and just ignites something wherever he goes yeah. and, and absolutely makes the faith take off. Oh, yeah. and I think that is really, really oh, yeah. neat that, that Paul's able to do that. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting they still listened, even though it said the only thing that we've heard is that um, we're not supposed to listen to this. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only thing we've heard is we're not supposed to listen to what you're talking right. about. And yes, some of them still believe. We don't know who you are. We don't know why you're here. We do know that <laughs> people aren't saying good things about the sex yeah, that you're and that we're not supposed to be listening to but it. But have at it. Yeah, but hey, still talk to us. <laughs> and some still believed. I, I mean, yeah. it's only God and only God's message that can convince people that yeah. don't want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. I and mean, because there are so many people out tonight. there that do not want to hear God's message. Mm -hmm. But know this, that God wants them to still hear the message. Yeah. And and there's many that won't hear it and won't believe, but there are some who will. Yeah, absolutely. There are some that will still hear the message and believe. God's still turning hearts to him. Mm -hmm. And he still wants to turn more hearts towards himself. And he still wants that message to just get out so that people will come to know him. 
Yeah. We have a message of hope that is absolutely life-changing and transforming. And yes. so I have loved being able to read through this story and yep. hear the different ways in which Paul was able to witness to the people around him. Yep. So I hope that as we read through the book of Acts, that this was a time that you were able to be blessed and encouraged mm -hmm. as well. And I hope now that as we conclude this series, that you will now take the opportunity to go out and tell all the world of the, the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great week. Until next time.